Hi, just Tara again. I am doing an update um, because it's been a little bit. It, there's been a couple things that have happened. Um, I am 21 days, so three weeks, no wait, 20 days away from my surgery date. Um, so the last leg of my journey was to get an upper endoscopy, and I had that on June 8th, so about a month ago, and I've been meaning to update, and I just haven't. Um, so if you've never heard of an upper endoscopy, it is basically they uh, put you under a light sleep and send a camera down inside your throat and look in your esophagus, your, I think your esophagus, I don't know, basically your whole stomach and all the way down there and basically making sure there's nothing going on that's going to um, cause any issues when they're putting staples in your stomach. Everything was good. So there's, they saw no problem areas. So that's a positive note. My surgery is on the 26th and I am super excited. Uh, it's the final thing I have to do and I'm supposed to get start coal lace yesterday and I'm supposed to get some today. So I'll have to go to Hannaford before they close to get that. Uh, because I need to start that today. Um, that's just going to help keep everything going. <laughs> keep everything running smoothly. Um, so, um, in about six days, on the 12th, I start my liquid diet. And I will do that for two weeks uh, prior to my surgery. And... As weird as it sounds, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Uh, I'm prepared, so it makes it that much easier. Uh, I know exactly what I have to do, what I can and can't do. So um, I'm looking forward to keeping busy. Um, big news, I got my learner's permit for my Class B. So I'm training to be a bus driver. Yeah! <laughs> I'm super excited to do that. I'm a little bit excited, I mean. So... Yeah, so, um, that's where we're at, and we're just waiting, we're playing the waiting game, doing what I need to do on my end, um, my son's got some things going on this summer, we're hoping to hit the beach a couple times, uh, we've got Disney in August, um, literally two weeks after my surgery, <laughs> so... I get to be two weeks post-op in Disney on my puree stage. I'm so excited. <laughs> That'll be an adventure. So you'll hear some updates about that. So as far as all that goes, um, yeah, this is where we're at. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I haven't weighed myself recently, but I last I weighed in, I was... About 247, 249-ish. Um, it varies from morning to night. So I'm going to go with a 249 number. So I'm 9 pounds away from my 240 mark that I was at in 2012 uh, when I lost all that weight before. Um, 240 was the lowest um, I think I've been in my adult life. So, So this is really exciting. I'm getting compliments from people and I appreciate them. A lot of people think that I've already had the surgery. Um, no, not yet. Uh, it is amazing to see what you can do when you push your body to do more and you change habits. Um, and to be honest, uh, getting my diabetes under control and my endocrinologist helping with the Trulicity really helped kickstart that. Um, Trulicity, I think, helped manage my um, portion control and just feeling fuller um, sooner. So, I mean, I feel like along with the medicine um, and also changing the habits slowly and just what I was eating and getting more movement, all of those little pieces together just helped um, progress further. Um, now, the reason I can't keep weight off is then I 
stop doing all these good things for myself and life happens and I start getting lazy and I'm like, oh, fast food, fast food, fast food, get too comfortable again and stop caring and say, fuck it and just eat whatever I want. I get in this going to die someday phase and try to get myself there sooner for some reason. But, um, big news again, I went on a trip to Minnesota to see my sister, drove out with her and flew home. And for the first time in my adult life, I did not need a seatbelt extender. So that made me feel really good. Uh, the first flight from Minnesota to Boston was a little more comfortable. It was a bigger plane. So there was about five inches of belt room left. So that was comfortable. The other plane was just a four seater, two on each side, and it was a little tighter, but I was not asking for a seatbelt extender. So it still fit around me. So without like cutting off circulation. <laughs> so I'm proud of myself. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so just wanted to update and do a quick little video on that. That's where we're at. So have a good night. Bye.